tis the season to be haunting. This is Grilla and the Yule Trolls. Iceland is a beautiful island country in the Atlantic Ocean that also happens to be a tad bit insane. Harsh words for sure, but any place that had to outlaw a folklore creature for being deemed too intimidating for the youths is deserving of some criticism. Or perhaps Grilla is just that scary. Living in the lava fields of Dimuborgish, this child-eating giantess was used to horrify children into behaving long before she got wrapped up in the Yule Tide. Sustaining mostly on kids and two of her own husbands, she would often trick her bag parents into giving them her kids to eat. Like your neighbor asking to borrow a cup of sugar, but the sugar is babies. Apparently, naughtiness makes the meat tender, and she found the flavor of bad children was more to her liking. Thus, she began collecting whispers of bad children on the wind, and then shoving said children into a sack and stealing them away in the night to cook into a large stew that would sustain her all year. Grilla and her third and hopefully less palatable husband, Lape Luve, went on to birth the 13 Yule Trolls. While the family-friendly Yule lads of current day will leave you toys or moldy potatoes, the Yule trolls of the past were the 18th century version of frat bros on spring break. Property damage, theft, noise complaints, and putting their mouths on an uncomfortable amount of things. Like a shitty advent calendar, they arrive, one by one from December 12th, to 24th, bringing the Icelandic peasant version of YouTube pranks with them, each named by their debauchery. First comes Stekka Schuer, or Sheepcoat Claude, on the 12th, who hassles goats. Some reports say he ate them, others say he suckled on them, but the majority just say he harassed them. Fortunately for the sheep, he slowed down due to his peg legs. Gil Jaeger, or Gully Gawk, rolls in on the 13th to suck your cows dry. Of blood? No, milk. Like Santa Claus with no inhibition or cookies. Just right to the source. Stuber, or Stubby, is the shortest of them all and steals pans on the 14th to eat whatever crust is left on them. Which isn't that disturbing in itself until you group him with several of his brothers who have the same affinity for slobbering on tableware. Valersligir, the spoon licker, is almost skeletal and obviously licks spoons. Pasta Stegeg, the pot scraper, collects any leftovers, like Tupperware. Ast Kastagligir, the bowl licker, hides under beds and slurps your pudding bowls, which he then also steals. While half the family focuses on mouthing your cooking implements, on the 18th you can expect Herlaslagir, the door slammer, who hurls himself into doors just to startle those inside. Skirgromir, the Skir Gobbler is more civilized than his cutlery licking brethren and only steals Skir, which is a delicious looking yogurt. On December 20th, you better check the roof as Bjuk and the Kromir, the sausage swiper, hides in the rafters and snatches up any sausages hanging there. Glukaglayer, the window peeper, is a peeping Tom who peers into your windows to find toys or items to steal. With the largest nose, Gopthapir, the doorway sniffer, isn't really that harmful, only sniffing around to find delicious and decorative leaf bread to eat. On December 23rd, behind doors, or under tables, or even in cupboards, hides Kikrokir, or Meatook, who uses a hook to steal your meat. The final troll, Keta Sneakresh, the candle stealer, preys on easy targets, mostly naive children. And considering how precious sight is in the cold winter months, taking the only light source is probably the one that's most hindering. And if you survive all of this downright inconvenience, you're still not home free, because the final member of this disturbing family is the Yule Cat, a giant menacing black cat who will just straight up eat you if you're not gifted new clothes. But as horrifying, gross, and annoying as Grilla and the Yule Trolls seem to be, are they truly any worse than your relatives? Thank you for watching Spooky Sushi. We want to give a shout out to all of our amazing patrons who made this video possible. To join them and get neat rewards, please visit patreon.com slash team And if you have something spooky you want me to look into, put it in the comments below. Until next time, stay spooky.